morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about modulation and its types. Modulation. Modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of a periodic waveform called the carrier signal with a separate signal called the modulation signal that typically contains information to be transmitted. Here is a representation of a modulation process. Message or information signal is applied to the modulator. To the modulator, carrier signal is applied and the process takes place in the modulator. We are getting the modulated signal as the output from the modulator. Need for modulation. Two reasons are there why modulation is needed. They are, the first one is, it is difficult to radiate to frequency signals from an antenna in the form of electromagnetic energy. Second one is, if signals from two or more sources transmitted at the same time, then the information would interfere with each other. These are the reasons why we need modulation of a signal. Carrier signal and the input signal. In the modulation process, two signals are used, namely the modulating signal and the carrier signal. The modulating signal is nothing but the baseband signal or the information signal, while the carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal. Modulation process. In the modulation process, the parameter of the carrier wave, such as amplitude, frequency, or the phase, is varied in accordance with the modulated signal. The modulating signal is then transmitted by the transmitter. The receiver will demodulate the received modulated signal and get the original information signal back. The demodulation is exactly opposite to modulation. In the process of modulation, the carrier wave actually acts as a carrier which carries the information signal from transmitted receiver basic modulation types the modulation types are classified basically into three categories the first one is analog modulation the second is digital modulation and the third one is pulse modulation analog modulation types are broadly classified into two categories they are Amplitude modulation and angle modulation. The amplitude modulation is further classified into double side band full carrier that is DSP FC, single side band suppressed carrier SSB SC, and vestib vestigal side band VSB. The angle modulation is further classified into frequency modulation and phase modulation analog modulation types representation is shown here here is a representation of amplitude modulation in this amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied and here we have frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier signal is varied here is a representation of a phase modulation. The phase of the carrier signal is varied. Amplitude modulation types is shown here. In this double sideband with full carrier, the carrier is suppressed and sidebands are allowed for transmission. In the single sideband with the suppressed carrier, the carrier and the sideband are suppressed and a single sideband is allowed for transmission and in the VSB modulation guard bands are included amplitude modulation and frequency modulation waveforms representation is shown here in this diagram 
as unit carrier wave amplitude modulated output wave frequency modulated output wave from the modulator phase modulation representation is shown here in this diagram the phase of the carrier signal is varied it is represented in this diagram digital modulation and its types Digital modulation is the transmission of digitally modulated analog signals that is carriers between two or more points in a communication system. Digital modulation is sometimes called a digital radio. Types of digital modulation techniques. The digital modulation techniques are broadly classified into Amplitude shift keying that is ASK, frequency shift keying that is FSK, phase shift keying that is PSK, quadrature amplitude modulation QAM, and quadrature phase shift keying that is QPSK modulation. Amplitude shift keying. Amplitude shift keying is a form of op amplitude modulation that represents digital data as variations in the amplitude of the carrier wave here is the representation of amplitude shift key in an ASK system a symbol representing one or more bits is sent by transmitting a fixed amplitude carrier wave at a fixed frequency for a specific time duration Frequency shift keying. Frequency shift keying is a method of transmitting digital signals using discrete signals. Here is a representation of frequency shift keying. The two binary states in this diagram represents logic 0 that is low and logic 1 that is high. In a binary frequency shift keying mechanism, each are represented by an analog waveform. Phase shift keying. Phase shift keying is a digital modulation process which conveys data by changing, that is a modulating, changing the phase of a constant frequency reference signal, that is the carrier wave. Here is a representation of phase shift key. The modulation is accomplished by varying the sine and the cosine inputs at a precise time. Quadrature amplitude modulation, that is QAM. QAM is a method of combining two amplitude modulation signals into a single channel. This approach helps double its effective bandwidth. QAM is also used with pulse AM that is spam in digital systems like wireless applications. Quadrature phase shift keying that is QPSK modulation. Quadrature phase shift keying is a form of phase shift keying in which Two bits are modulated at once, selecting one of four possible carrier phase shifts that is 0, 90, 180 or 270 degrees. QPSK allows the signal to carry twice as much information as ordinary PSK using the same bandwidth. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video, means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.